All right, so today for Black Friday, I got the Disney Infinity 3.0 uh, Star Wars pack, and I got it for Black Friday from Best Buy. It was 40 bucks, which is about $25 cheaper than it normally is. So I picked it up because I pick up all these, so make sure you check back soon. I'll be doing videos of this game um, as I play through it. But uh, I just wanted to do an unboxing video so we can kind of check out what's inside just in case you haven't seen anybody else's videos or um, you're unfamiliar with what comes with these so the first thing you get is your copy of the game it's Disney Infinity 3.0 edition with some really boring artwork there's nothing on there but um, this uh, 3.0 started with Star Wars and but there's been a lot of Marvel and a lot of Disney characters coming out for 3.0 as well, but it really started like Star Wars was the biggest one uh, Marvel was 2.0, but they've been putting out Marvel characters um, I think they've been putting out new Marvel characters, and then they've definitely been putting out new Disney characters And then the next thing that you get is the I'm not going to take it out, but you get the Disney Infinity Power Base, which is you put your game piece here, your level, and then you put your figures here, and you can put your power discs under your figures if you want. Um, so the 3.0, which is this whole box, is compatible with all of the 1.0 figures. It's also compatible with the 1.0 power discs, but unfortunately it's not compatible with the 1.0 uh, set pieces, so you can't play levels from 1.0 on 3.0. Um, you can also use the 2.0 figures and uh, power discs, but not the 2.0 uh, play sets or uh, game game sets. And then you can play, of course, with all of the 3.0 play set pieces, figures, power discs, and all of that other stuff. So anything 3.0 is going to work, but with 2.0, you can't use any of the stuff that goes in this area. Um, maybe the power discs that go here but not the play sets to go here. Alright, next we have the figures, which is what everybody likes. And half of the reason that I even buy these things. So first we have Anakin. And just like all the other figures, um, they come on a little pedestal. And then you put the bottom part on the disc, or on the uh, portal, and it reads the information and there's actually some kind of mechanism in here that um, your power portal remembers and syncs up to your system and all this other craziness. So it you can level this up and do all this other weird stuff. So uh, it's pretty cool. And whenever you take this to your friend's house, like your save data is like kind of saved on it. And then we have... Ahsoka, she's Anakin's Padawan, um, and she does the same thing, you just put her on the portal and you can play with her, and you can use her in the campaign mode and the play box mode. And then the last thing that comes with it is, this is the set piece, oh it's got like lightsabers on the back, that's pretty neat. But you take this and you set it down. This is your actual level that you play. So you set this down on the portal. And then you put your two figures on the portal. And then everything just builds in the game. And then you can buy other portals. I mean uh, other game levels. And you can just pop this one off and pop a new one on. And it'll put you in that new area. And you can play with the same characters and stuff. So that's pretty cool. So um, that's everything that comes with it. You also get um, the... The card. This is the Twilight of the Republic card. I won't show you my code on the back, but you get the card that comes with it, which is just okay. And then, yeah, that's it. So you have your portal, your two figures, your playset, your card, and your game. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this was somewhat informative and 
fun to watch. If you have any questions, let me know. Make sure you check back soon because I'll be playing through the game. And as always, make sure you subscribe because we will definitely be putting up more new videos. Thanks a lot. Bye.